So I want to show you a real simple test to see if you're dehydrated or not. What determines the volume of your fluid in your body, your extracellular fluid volume, is this one electrolyte, sodium. Now there's a lot of different uh, minerals involved, but sodium is the driving force to maintain this fluid. So if you have too much sodium in the body, you're going to have edema, that's swelling. And you see this in cardiovascular disease. And then there's a condition called ascites. This is where your gut is just fluid filled. It's like a basketball. Usually the person is thin and they got this huge protruding belly. Uh, that's fluid. And what's happening is the liver is filled with scar tissue, cirrhosis, it's damaged, and it's leaking fluid into a sac around your abdomen. And you're going to see edema when you have kidney disease, or diabetes. But when you're low in sodium, you're going to get dehydrated. You can have low blood pressure, low nutrients because there's not enough pressure to drive the uh, nutrients through the body. And you can also have low oxygen because you're not getting the circulation to the different parts of the body. So there's a very simple test where you're just basically pinching the skin and you're looking at how fast it comes back okay, to normal. Um, you're measuring a decrease in skin trigger, which means just the fluid and pressure right underneath your skin. So you just pinch the skin for a couple seconds and it should come right back. Okay, so if it's not coming right back, let's say one to two seconds. So the longer it takes to come back, the more dehydrated you are. So if you pinch this for a few seconds and it's staying there for a few seconds, you are severely dehydrated. So I have a lot of videos on the ketogenic diet. And if you don't know what that is, I'm gonna put a link down below for more information. But when you do a ketogenic diet, the need for salt goes up. Because before, when you're doing a higher carbohydrate diet, you were attaining sodium, okay? But now on keto, you're losing more sodium, so you have to consume more salt, about a teaspoon a day. But let's say, for example, you had diarrhea or vomiting or you're on diuretics, that could be another reason why you're low in sodium. Now, as a side note that doesn't have to do with this test, another interesting uh, point on sodium is a condition called hyponatremia, where you, you have low sodium because you're drinking excessive amounts of water. Now, remember, it's the sodium that determines the volume of fluid outside the cell. It's the driving force that maintains this fluid. So if you're drinking massive amounts of water, course without the sodium because you're not drinking seawater, you're going to dilute the sodium. So in this situation, you're going to be low in sodium. You're going to have a whole series of other problems like heart problems, uh, even actually swelling in the brain. But that's actually a side note. So let's say, for example, you're doing a lot of salt and you're not drinking enough fluid. Well, you could be dehydrated from that because you also need to increase the fluid with the salt, and it's a combination of both of those. So the most common thing that I see when you start a ketogenic plan is that you're not doing enough salt, um, but always use sea salt, by the way. And in addition to that, maybe you're not doing enough water as well. So the combination is important. Now, there's one last point I want to bring up that has to do with your adrenal glands. If you have a severe adrenal problem, okay, where the adrenal glands are basically shut down, and the condition is called Addison's. You no longer can retain sodium. So you're gonna be losing sodium, in which case you're gonna be very dehydrated. And people with Addison's need to consume a lot of salt because it just goes right through them. All right, guys, so go ahead and do this test right now and comment below on the results. Hey guys, I'm not sure if you have my app yet, Dr. Berg app, it's totally free. You should download it, okay? This is what it looks like. You click it, it gives you all sorts of great resources. I have all my YouTube videos on this app, okay? And it's regularly um, uploading the most recent ones. All the YouTube videos are also converted to audio versions, okay? So you can use it when you're walking, exercising, driving your car. I have a mini course on there. I'll be putting additional courses. I have a lot of recipes on there. This is new and also PDF resources. So there's various downloads, PDFs that you can get as well. And if you wouldn't mind, after you download it, check it out. Give me your unbiased review and tell me how you like it. I want to know.